Welcome back, everybody. Hi. Hi. What do you say? Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh. Uh, thank you. Uh oh. Ah! Get him, Isaac. Get him. I declare an official handicap. Okay, he's he's what three years younger than you. Yes. He gets three seconds to grab his burrito. From now on, when it's a burrito war, you have to count to three first, I, Samson. That wasn't a burrito war. One. That was a burrito ball. Two. Three. And then you can start. Kids are having fun. I am going to have fun today too. Two important things are going on. Number one. We have a special guest star today. Pops and Nana are in town, and Pops is gonna be helping me with the second important thing, which is unboxing our Hudson Warrior sawmill. So I've been waiting like a year to put this thing together. We bought it uh, in, I think, November of 2019, and we received it last summer and we are now officially ready to start setting it up. So we are gonna get the plastic off, we're gonna get the crate off, and start building this thing. Okay, correction. Uh, we bought this thing in the fall of 2020 and received it, what did you say, 621? 29, 21. 29, 6, 29, 21. So. We are having shipping issues back then. But we're gonna get this thing set up, hopefully, and start milling our own lumber. Because that pile of trees, it's gotta go somewhere. Pops and I are in trouble. The quality control crew is here. And the safety team. And the safety team. So. No. And they, we and brought they, beverages. And though. they fed us caffeine. I know. They brought <laughs> us. They brought us coffee and drinks, and we're ready to go. And sugar. <laughs> Woo. Exactly. So. Okay, we've got the crate unpacked. Um, we need to get the the head unit off, and it weighs like a, a billion pounds. So you would need at least four guys. Like or, two or two really young guys yeah. so but it's too much for me luckily we've got the tractor so what'd you get isaac I got a tick. you got a tick yep welcome to missouri uh. steel bearings that's nice oh nice Very impressed with the labeling on all of this. That's probably later. Get acclimated to where I'm like. Uh, right? <laughs> it takes me like like five or six hours to wake up. <laughs> but I mean, uh, like Maybe an hour. I'm like, okay, I've got to go eight to out of ten things. Yeah. All right. Is it time to go to the creek? Lunch. Pretty soon. We're going to go have lunch, and then we're going to go to the creek. Because okay. I don't know if you can see it, but we are perspiring. We set up the easy up. And that was uh, a godsend, but uh, it's still, it's hot out here. It's only like 82, but the humidity's up today. So uh, we skipped a step five in the instruction manual. I know, I'm breaking my own rules. Baby, silver truck, silver truck. But step five is putting the wheels on so that we could set this on the track before we add any more weight to this thing. So successful track mounting operation now the track is not where it's going to sit for now we're just building it there avocado yeah on our turkey sandwiches yep caitlin i'm in love hey hickory you liking your greens hey rose you guys happy you guys happy? Oh. 
I'm last. Hey guys, welcome back. This is actually day two, so you'll notice a wardrobe change. I think yesterday we spent maybe... Welcome back, everybody. Thanks, buddy. I think yesterday we spent maybe three or four hours working on this. We got the, the basic doodad, whatever you want to call it, the cage uh, with the wheels on it mounted to the track. The track's not bolted down yet. We're just using it as a temporary situation. But what we have spent the most time on is getting these wheels, which hold the blade, aligned with each other. So... It looks like from the instructions, you need to make sure that you have a straight edge that goes from one to the other so you can adjust them left to right. And then they also need to be the same plumb. So, but we are going to keep going and hopefully Pops get this thing done and running today. Yeah. We'll see. We are supposed to get some rain, so we'll just have to see what happens. Hey guys, so we just had a deluge of water and uh, we took a break from working on the sawmill while it was storming, but this water tank right here from our chicken house gutters filled 50 gallons in about an hour of rain. So that's pretty exciting. Now, in the future, we are going to have IBC totes, 300 gallon totes out here. But I'm starting to think that I might want to chain a couple of totes together i mean two or three if i can get 50 gallons from one hour of rain oh that, that's a lot of water if it were to rain all day you know eight hours uh eight times 50 is what 400 so i guess it's not that much no wait yeah 400 so all right, anyways, the sun is popping back out, so I'm gonna head over and uh, get back to work as the wind blows and shakes all the rain off the trees. Head back over and get back to work on the uh, sawmill. These in the right place are from the shaft from sliding. Left to right? I guess so. They want us to pull one, it says. To pull one. We have a set screw. So it says the main must be drilled to countersink set screws when tightened on shaft with Loctite. 
only one set screw on each bearing. So that'd be one, two, three, four. Okay. And we were able to move these, so they haven't been set yet. Okay. Okay, so we were doing good uh, until we got to the fuel line. Yeah. I'm talking to the camera. Oh. Which is okay. You're welcome to talk to. Um, but ours didn't come with two lines. Um, ours came with a bag full of parts. So... It came with two lines, but in the instructions and in the pictures and in the video, the official Hudson video, um, it showed them uh, showed them already attached to the engine. So we do not have an air return line already set up. We're assuming that it goes to this three sixteenths line um, that comes out of the air filter but we don't know. So we've routed it up up through here. And I think we'll do some research when we get back home. Maybe even call Hudson, Jim. Sure. See if see if they have some advice. And then when you get onto the battery, it says to put the negative onto the mounting bolt, okay? So that makes sense. Um, we've got that. And then it says to connect the positive to the starter, but there's no there's no place to connect it. I mean, there's a line already on there, right? And then there's there's this peg here, but I don't know. I don't know if that's the right place to do it. So we called uh, my dad, and he's gonna come over and check it out, and see if we can't problem solve this. Okay, we've been given the 10 minute warning. It now officially took um this is day two three guys we have an engineer a master mechanic and a semi-professional homesteader construction guy and i think we're fairly close so um the only thing we haven't done that we really need to do is we need to tap these bearings right here but i need i need a I want to do it right. I need a center punch so that my uh, bit doesn't wobble and and mess things up. You can tell it's after two o'clock because I can't think anymore. Word's no working anymore. Okay, time for dinner, Nana. Time for dinner. Time for dinner. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, are we on the final step? Final. We are on the final step. Woohoo! Two and a half days. Uh, an engineer, a surf certified semi professional homesteader, and uh, a master mechanic. We finally figured this thing out. That's really sad. <laughs> the video, the instruction video <laughs> on this thing is like 27 minutes. Uh, if you go on YouTube and look at the. Uh, uh, Hudson Hudson Warrior instruction video. That guy obviously has done it once or twice before. We also didn't have all the parts, all the tools. We really only worked on it like three hours the first day. Maybe four or five hours yesterday with the rain and everything. So, yeah, it could probably be done in a day if you knew what you were getting into and you had the right tools. All right, we're going to install the blade guards. Put some gas in this, put some water in the lube tank. Install the, the blade guide, the measurement, dealy bobber, thingy, majigger. And uh, put the tracks together, bolt those together, and then get to cutting some logs. Maybe I'll send Pops back to California with a slab of walnut or something. Sound good, gang? Yep. Sure. All right. Okay, now I'm actually recording. Before I wasn't, that was a bummer. And I just hit my son in the head with my elbow. 
You okay, buddy? Okay, you want to push the log off for me? Samson. Yeah, we'll do it no? together, Isaac. Okay. All right, Isaac. It goes over on this side. Yeah, that way we don't have wood chips on our gravel. Nope, nope, nope. Just the bark. The future home of the chipper. Here we go. Ready? We're going this Towards way. Towards Pops. Towards me. Push. Or lift. Ready? Okay. Good job, Isaac. Uh, so cool. We have our first cut. Hooray! 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 Wow, look at it. It's pretty. It is yep. pretty. Who wants a live edge you can piece of... Uh, feel the saw mark. Piece of oak. That's crazy. All right. So cool. Yeah. Let's cut some more. Okay. End of YouTube for today. Oh, no. Oh, battery's dead. That's why. Sorry, gang. You can't watch me cut. Because the camera's dead. Okay, guys. Hopefully this will come through. But check it out. We cut our first piece of walnut. Cool. That is going to be beautiful. Hey, Blacktail Studios, you want to make a resin table out of this? Send me a message. Hey guys, real quick interjection here. I just wanted to say if you uh, are interested in sawmills and um, running sawmills, homesteading with sawmills and all that sort of stuff, there's a really cool channel out there that I have watched a lot, and that is called Sawing with Sandy. That's S-A-N-D-Y, and um, he's up in Canada, but um, I've watched a ton of his videos as far as his setup and things that he wished he had known. So um, that being said, though, um, my first thing that I have cut on my sawmill, Sandy, is uh, stickers, laughing strips. So that when I do start cutting lumber, I can air dry it or air stack it. Um, so I was able to run the first two logs through there and I cut a bunch of stickers. I also cut um, three two by fours and two two by sixes. And then the second one was walnut. I cut these slabs um, as a gift to Pops for coming out and helping. Um, so he's actually gonna take these back and make charcuterie boards out of them. Um, but this slab right here is all mine. So this was one of our smallest logs, smallest pieces that we had. I haven't finished the track yet. I have 20 more feet to go on to here um, for us to finish our track. Um, and then the idea is that eventually there will kind of where the canopy is sitting right now will be a shed that all of this will slide into um, when we're not using it. So it'll stay out of the sun, it'll stay out of the weather, and uh, I'll have a place where I can work on it when the weather's bad, that sort of stuff. You know, sharpen up my blades, change out stuff, clean it up, do maintenance on the motor, all that good stuff. And then there's gonna be uh, about 30 feet on the backside of it, and that is storage. It's a place for me to stack up all the lumber once I've got it cut so it can start air drying. And then maybe in the future, I have to see how good I can be. Um, really have to see if this turns into a profitable business, but I'd like to build a uh, solar kiln out here. So it'll harness the power of the sun because this is south facing right here. Um, it'll harness the power of the sun and we'll put some solar operated fans in there that will help to um, recycle or recirculate the air. So all this lumber can be cut, go into the solar kiln, then get stacked up in the shed stay nice and dry um, while I'm waiting on people to come and buy it. So anyways, thank you guys very much for going along with us. I am so, so excited to have this thing uh, finally put together and a special big thank you to Nana and Pops for driving all the way out here just to help me out with, I'm just kidding. They came out for uh, birthday parties, um, especially Isaac who just turned six. Um, but seriously, thank you very much for uh, helping us out with this. We love you guys, and we will see you on the next video.